Igbo leaders are against Biafra, but angry with Buhari's government. Oanese says they are picked Igbo social cultural group Oanese in the Igbo worldwide has distanced themselves from various groups agitating for the emergence of Biafra Republic. Niger News report that calls for Biafra Republic have been amplified by the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra IPOC and the movement for the actualization of sovereign state of Biafra Masop. In a statement issued by its Secretary General, Okechuku Isiguzuru, the group said that it is only dissatisfied with the neg negligence of the Nigerian government. According to Oanese, silence of evil leaders does not mean support for IPO and MASO. It noted that the agitations were born out of frustrations from President Modu Buhari's led government discrimination against the people of the Southeast. The statement read, Our nation Digbo worldwide had dismissed Northern elders' contentions of possibilities that the silence of evil leaders in the ongoing provocative onslaught in Southern Nigeria reflected support for IPOP and MASOP, describing it as fallacies and might craftily designed for sinister motives by anti evil exponents. Contrary to popular belief of Northerners on secessionist campaigns, the popularity of Biafran agitation by Igbo youth is based on the fallout of the systematic frustrations of the federal government discrimination against Southern and Southeasterners and also, unlike most Nigerian youth, Igbo youth are subjected to untold hardship, especially in this COVID-19 worsening economic era. In every 10 unemployment, unemployed people, six are Igbo youth. Traders among them are frustrated either by unfriendly government policies or host communities' animosity. Igbo leaders are not happy with the I don't care attitude of the presidency or the lamentation of Southeast marginalization appears to have fallen on deaf ears of the presidency. Has the federal government appeals to be combat ready in any slight tests hints of conflicts of interest in southeastern Nigeria but appears powerful powerless? to the full-scale insurgency in the North Nigeria. These two postures of federal government being brutal in the, in the southeast and smog, sluggish in the north, the two-faced behaviors of federal authorities are the reason for secessionist turmoil in Middle Belt, southeast and southwest regions as well. Igbo leaders and governors are not behind IPOP and are unhappy with the attacks on police formations and government facilities, but the happenings in southeastern Nigeria appears to be the end of Esau and the voice of Jacob. It is sponsored solemnly to blackmail the Southeast Presidency and portray that Ibus should not be trusted with political power in 2023. Unfortunately for them, all anti Igbo exponents are unknowingly playing a historical role in the fulfillment of Nigerian president of Igbo extractions 2023. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> The writer have made the point. I've said it all. Yes, you can imagine. Of the truth, the Igbo leaders are against Biafrans, but angry with President Modu Buhari, 
I don't know about that. Because they are not angry with... If they, are not, if they are not against Biafra, they wouldn't be so selfish in getting presidency or in, in abandoning Biafra for presidency. Yes. They hate Biafra so much to the extent that they are not even happy that Biafra wants to get its independence. They believe that Biafra we should have supported in the um, area of able extractions as in presidency they would have come together and discussed on how Ibu will become the president in this country you can imagine they have said it all that they are very much angry with Biafra and that is it that is it according to what General Okechuku Izuko said, he said that it is only dissatisfied with the neg negligence of the Nigerian government. The silence of the Igbo leaders does not mean that they support IPOB or Biafra. This was what he said. You can imagine. So that, that means it is obvious that they don't even support. They have shown it, they have made it, they have made it exposed that they don't support Biafran agitation. They don't support. They distance themselves from various groups agitating for the emergence of Biafra Republic. The way they are, they are not happy with Buhari is because Buhari is still um, clamoring on giving presidency to the, the, the Northerners. You can imagine. This is why they say they are not angry with, they are angry with President Mondo Buhari and also with Biafrans. Yes. The Igbos, the leaders, they kicked against secession. And they say that we will, they will overcome the challenges. You can imagine. The governors from the Southeast and the team from the federal government, they have agreements to re-emphasize Nigerians unity until rejecting while rejecting secessionist calls. You can imagine. The decision they have made was reached at the end of a meeting between the governors and, and representatives of Pres President Modi Buhari in Enugu on Friday to address the Southeast escalating insecurity. You can imagine. What have they, what have they done to them? You can imagine. Anyways, that is by the way. So my advice is that no matter how the leaders are against Biafra, that is their own cup of tea. What matters is that Biafra has gotten its independence already. I'm just waiting, waiting for the time to come. So viewers, what would you have to say concerning this? Your take on this will be very much appreciated. Please don't hesitate to drop off your, your comment below the comment box. Thank you.